Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mario. Welcome back to the channel. If you are brand new, just understand the purpose of this channel is I'm here to show and reveal to you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. And in today's video, I'll be explaining exactly what an apostolic is. And I promise you, if you watch it all the way to the end, you will know and have a clear understanding of who we are and who we are not. If there's something that interests you, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and define exactly what an apostolic is according to Cambridge Dictionary. Cambridge Dictionary defines apostolic as relating to the apostles, the group of early Christians who traveled to different places telling people about Jesus Christ. So in short, we believe in the ways and the teachings of the apostles as taught to them by Jesus Christ. If you don't know who the apostles were, there were 11 of them who were disciples previously when Jesus was alive on this earth. And then when he died, they converted to apostles with one exception of Paul. We have 12 apostles in the Bible who were taught everything by Jesus. Jesus taught them how to love one another, how to preach, how to baptize, how to treat one another, how to build the church, how to maintain order in the church, etc. Many other things that they were taught, but we go by exactly what they were taught. Now, number one thing is apostolics. We are dedicated to serving and building a life with Jesus Christ. We know that he paid a high price on that cross and he purchased our salvations. We know that we are simply sinners who need a savior and he was the one promised long before in the Old Testament that a savior would come and dwell among us and he would be the redeemer for all mankind. And we believe that he has already come, he has already risen and he is working in the church now through his Holy Spirit. He purchased your freedom greatly so you could dwell with him one day in heaven and he paid a high price for it. And all he's asking from us here on earth is that we dedicate our lives back to him. But I assure you, it's not all boring. It is so much fun to be serving for God and there are great rewards in doing that. Now, what uh, one thing I do wanna get out of the way is explain what apostolics are not. We aren't in any way associated with Jehovah's Witnesses. We aren't associated with the Church of the Latter-day Saints. We are not Mormons. We are not Mennonites, pilgrims from Pennsylvania. We are our own group. As, as a matter of fact, we started in Acts 2 on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit was bred out through the 120 in the upper room. That's when the church, our heritage, truly started. Now, one of the reasons you may confuse us with some of these other groups here is we simply dress formal, but more importantly, we dress modest. Paul urges the church in several verses here, which I will notate down below in 1 Timothy and 1 Corinthians, that he wants men to lift up holy hands. He wants women to dress modest. He wants women to dress in modest apparel, not to adorn themselves with jewelry and other things of that nature. And what you'll notice, and the reason why we do this, is the eyes that us men have and women are in fact a blessing and a curse for us. There are visual uh, stimulants that can cause strong temptations inside men and women. And so we choose to dress ourselves in a non flashy type of way. We choose to maintain a humble looks and we choose to dress in this uh, modest type of way to respect not only ourselves, which we know to be the temple of God, but to also respect others around us. So in our churches, you will not see tight dresses, short skirts, men wearing baseball caps, boys wearing basketball shorts and t-shirts, makeup, jewelry, and many other things you will not see at our churches. Now there is a little more detail here that I don't have time to do in this video, but if you are interested, and seeing the exact reasons why we dress the way we dress both men and women, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to make a follow-up video if there's enough response to it. And finally, last thing that apostolics are, we are definitely radical in our worship. If you've ever been to an apostolic service, you've more than likely been taken away by the music and the preaching there. 
Our music, it's loud, dynamic, it's passionate. You'll see a lot of amens, hallelujahs. You'll see running through the aisles. You'll see uh, men and women lifting up hands, jumping, shouting, dancing. We're a very lively bunch to say the least. And you're gonna see just as much energy during the preaching as you will during the music. Men and women and children speaking in uh, an unknown language and other tongues, crying. You're going to see and feel something different that you've never ever seen or felt before if you visit an apostolic church. And the reason why you're gonna see all this is because when you let the Holy Spirit, when you let Jesus do what he does best, he will show you a church begging for mercy and wanting to repent of their old lifestyle on a daily basis and just asking God and thanking God in every way that we can in the way that we sing and the way that we respond to his word. We are just so passionate about pleasing God and we want to do the best that we can while we are here for this little short time here on earth. Now, finally, last point here is we are apostolics and we in fact aren't perfect, but we are progressively trying to move towards that image of Christ that he left for us. So I strongly encourage anyone who is watching this video and you found your way to this video or is sent to you by a friend to look up a local apostolic church in your area. And I urge you to try and go there just one time. And if you're not blown away, we got many more things to talk about, my friend. Well, hey, I hope you all enjoyed this short video. If you're apostolic, make sure you like this video, comment down below. If you've ever been curious about being an apostolic, leave a comment down below. What's one thing you took away from this video? And until next time, keep fearing God and marching towards the grand prize. Peace.